fake Nigerian wedding that I came across. Mm -mm. This looks like fun, but I was also like, you guys have money to spend. Are we kind of trivializing our culture down to just partying and vibes? Hi guys, welcome to the Mo Chunk Show and welcome to another installment of Shit Chat with Mo, where we have controversial debates, honest conversation, and so much more. And I'm in a slightly different space. It's going to make sense why that is forever soon. Um, today's episode, I really wanted to talk about this fake Nigerian wedding that I came across um, recently. You know the one. Yeah, this fake Nigerian wedding and a lot of, you know, the different like thoughts that it kind of sparked. So I saw this amazing video on my Twitter and it was basically a, a fake Nigerian wedding. In fact, let's find it right now and watch it. So it's basically a wedding party or a Nigerian wedding themed party. I would say actually more specifically it was a Yoruba um, wedding because you know Nigeria has so many tribes and you know because of main character syndrome a lot of you know Yoruba people call whatever is their culture Nigerian. It is Nigerian but isn't the whole of Nigerian culture. There's loads of different tribes in Nigeria. You see me? Um, so I always heard it was more of a Yoruba traditional wedding that they threw and it was really interesting the song itself I love the song I think there were so many beautiful women in there especially the lady at 010 so gorgeous I think maybe because she reminds me of my little sister as well Sophie they look alike so pretty um yeah so many beautiful ladies in the in the video it looked like it was kind of vibes looked like it was fun a lot of people did have like very like negative opinions about it <laughs> I think my opinion about it was, okay, this looks like fun, but I was also like, you guys have money to spend. They got money. That was my thing. Cause obviously like weddings, they are not cheap. Um, and then to throw a fake, um, wedding was like, wow, you guys, you guys have money. You guys got that shit money. That's literally what I said to my, my partner, like, wow, they must have spent a lot of money. And my partner was like, it might be a lot of money to you. So let me just humble myself and be like, okay, it might actually be a lot of money to me. And maybe to them, it was nothing, you know, apparently though, it was a ticketed event and you know, that might have covered the cost. But yeah, that was my initial thoughts. Although I thought it was vibes. A lot of people were like, you know, really, really angry actually. And were like, you guys are making a mockery out of Nigerian culture culture like i said if when i say nigerian it's because they called it nigerian it's you really yoruba culture you guys are making a mockery of nigerian culture don't you know that what happens at weddings when there's a lagger you're literally joining two people together as with every conversation on this channel i try to explore both sides so i'm going to explore it not because it's my opinion but because i like to present nuance and let you guys decide so I did see, you know, why people were angry in a sense of traditional weddings, they have a huge significance where two families come together and literally join a couple together in holy matrimony. Um, and so people thought it was kind of, are we kind of trivializing our culture down to just partying and vibes? You know, sometimes you see Yoruba people, Nigerians complaining that other people wear our traditional wear and then we see ourselves doing things like this. So it's like if we ourselves are trivializing our culture, how much more people on the outside coming in? Me, I've never had an issue with other people from other cultures wearing Nigerian clothes or whatever, but there are people like that that will be like, you know, it's ours. They kind of gate gatekeep the culture to me we're all african yes we have our unique differences um but i actually honestly do not see an issue with someone from another culture wanting to try out and wear my traditional clothes at their wedding or whatever it may be i just feel like life is not that serious are you late on yeah you know, life is actually not that serious. I think sometimes we human beings are the ones that make things complicated and there must be a border around this part of our culture and nobody else must infiltrate and da 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 da. I think it is important to note that 
Yoruba culture is bigger than vibes and Ashwabi. B. Um, and I think sometimes we do reduce it to that. There is the other side as well. Some people saw the positives in this in a sense of, wow, there's actually been loads of people in diaspora, some of African descent, some not of African descent, but actually interested in the Yoruba culture, the Nigerian culture, the way we marry one another. And from the outside looking in, might not actually understand the process or what it entails. Because in the diaspora, we might not throw it in a most authentic way um, they might lose out on some of those cultural parallels there are loads of discourses around you know like the cultural connections that uk versus us diasporans have to like authentic nigerian culture in a sense of sometimes those born and bred in the us aren't as connected to their culture so it might not be so far-fetched for them to try to connect to their culture in or through or via a fake Nigerian wedding in a sense of trying to get to know the culture and I actually saw on his TikTok I think he was answering you know someone said why why do a Nigerian a fake Nigerian wedding and he said why why a fake wedding people are bored why can't you just do a whole party and he said, um, uh, people said, why didn't you just do a whole party, for example? And, you know, he went on to say that a lot of people missed going to Nigerian weddings, especially Africans living abroad. Um, people, including me, just needed an excuse to dress up and experience the Nigerian wedding scene that we don't get enough of. And I feel like we did a good job given that experience. It's interesting. I, I, I guess in terms of the wedding theme, yes, I know weddings have been shut down, but it's like, okay, you could have also thrown a whole party. But different strokes for different folks. Like I said, life is not that serious. If someone's having fun um, with their friends and they decide to throw a themed Nigerian wedding party and it's not hurting anybody. And like we said, the Alaga was there. It wasn't like they removed parts of the culture. Let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run. On the outside, it might have looked like just vibes and Ashwe B, um, but they had those integral parts of the culture, which some people might actually say, okay, that was even worse because you're making a mockery out of something so significant. Um, but I'm going to leave it over to you guys. What do you think about this fake um, Nigerian stroke Yoruba um, traditional wedding that was thrown in, I think it was Houston, Texas, in America? Um, and actually, they're having some more that's coming on. Do you think like, it's trivializing? Nigerian strict Yoruba culture or is it just a bit of fun a bit of a laugh that no one should kick anyone for for doing should um traditional Nigerian strict Yoruba weddings be kept sacred and not used as a theme for a party should they have just thrown a normal whole party or should they just carry on having fun as they please could it be a good teaching point for those who don't really understand the culture let me know in the comment section down below catch me if you liked it Share with your friends, comment below the things I spoke about, and subscribe to this channel for more. Until next time, guys, peace and love, peace and chunks.